O oh, Paris, the city of light, the city of love, the city that everyone should visit at least once. With almost 20 million international visitors every year, Paris is a popular destination for many J-Way guests. And while it's almost impossible to know nothing about the French capital, planning a visit can be a surprisingly overwhelming process. That's why we're here today, to give you an introductory overview of all the things you should not miss out on while visiting Paris. And after you're done watching, don't forget to check out our website with sample itineraries of fantastic trips to Paris, France and the rest of Europe. Get your dream vacation planned by local experts today. More information at the end of the video. Now, let's jump straight into the top things to see and do in Paris. Number one, have a picnic French style. There's nothing quite like hand-picking delicacies and then enjoying them in a beautiful setting. And what better place than Paris? A city filled to the brim with mouth-watering foods and breathtaking views on every corner. Choose one of the many street markets or head over to Marché d'Alicre, also called the Beauvau Market. Open six days a week, this half-indoor, half-outdoor market offers a wide variety of stalls selling French classics like cheese, fresh fruits and vegetables, local wines, and even a vegetarian butcher. Wherever you shop, do not leave without a classic French baguette. And where should you enjoy your picnic? Take advantage of Paris's many public parks. Our picks being the beautiful botanical garden of Jardin des Plantes, which houses the National Museum of Natural History and its impressive greenhouses. Or the rightfully famous Jardin du Luxembourg, the Luxembourg Garden. Among the green spaces, you can observe people playing the popular game of petang, watch kids play with model sailboats in the Grand Bassin, walk along the tree-lined promenades, or just lounge on the provided chairs and take in the atmosphere. A similar park in vibe and layout is the Jardin des Tuileries, also known as the Tuileries Garden, right in front of the famous Louvre Museum. But a simple green space with a beautiful view will also do. The hill of Montmartre offers plenty, just like the famous Champ de Mar right under the Eiffel Tower. And while you're so close to the River Seine, Let's move on to number two, see Paris from water. Traveling on a boat in Paris is a welcome change of perspective, as well as a smart way to get around the city as a tourist. You can opt for a larger cruise or just jump on board one of the Batabus boats operating around the city center. With one ticket for one or two days and a hop on hop off system, Batobus gives you the freedom to explore at your own pace, as well as the opportunity to see Paris from a different angle. Unique views of the Eiffel Tower and other monuments await you, and so does a detailed look at many of the city's famous bridges. The Batobus operates between the previously mentioned Jardin des Plantes and the Eiffel Tower, covering numerous important landmarks like the Louvre, Notre Dame or the Military Museum at Hôtel des Invalides. Speaking of sites, number three, visit world famous sites and art pieces. Let's now walk through a few of the most important monuments in Paris, starting with the previously mentioned Hotel des Invalides. An unmissable view from the famous Alexander III Bridge, the literally translated House of Invalids is a complex currently housing museums and monuments dedicated to French military history. The most noticeable is the Dome, the tallest church in Paris, which over time became a military tomb and houses the graves of many significant military leaders, including, most famously, the sarcophagus of Napoleon Bonaparte. That is not the only famous gravesite in Paris. Let's mention two more. Originally intended as a church, but quickly repurposed by the French Revolution, the Pantheon is a mausoleum for notable French citizens. It currently houses the remains of 81 people like Voltaire, Victor Hugo, Marie Curie and others. 
It also features a copy of the Foucault pendulum, demonstrating the Earth's rotation, as well as a beautiful 360-degree view of Paris from the dome's colonnade. Visiting Pantheon is worth it for these views alone. But the building's long history and art collection are just the cherry on top. Our last death-themed landmark is the city's largest and world's most visited graveyard, the famous Père Lachaise Cemetery. A stroll among the tombs, which vary from simple headstones to elaborate works of art, is surprisingly pleasant, and the atmosphere is peaceful, not quite somber, but respectfully quiet. The most famous graves in Père Lachaise include those of Jim Morrison, Edith Piaf, Oscar Wilde, Honoré de Balzac, Frédéric Chopin, and many more. But we hear you. It's time to move on from the dead. So how about some art? Ferris is home to some of the world's most famous museums and art pieces. Arguably the most famous painting in the world, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa surprises over 10 million visitors every year with its size. But the Louvre, the museum housing this work of art, has so much to offer that you won't even mind the slight disappointment. There's a reason the Louvre is the world's most visited art museum. Its collections include antiquities, paintings, sculptures and much, much more. The building itself is worth checking out together with its iconic glass pyramids. Ferris has many more galleries to offer, such as the Musée d'Orsay, devoted to 19th and early 20th century works of art, the mecca for modern art lovers that is the one-of-a-kind Centre Pompidou, and many, many more. Frankly, too many to list in this video. So let's move on to a very special place, a village in the heart of Paris. A neighborhood with a small-town feel beloved by artists, poets, and bohemians. We're talking about the famous hill of Montmartre. Crowned by the stunning Sacré-Cœur Basilica, it offers a spectacular view of Paris, as well as an atmosphere not found elsewhere in the city. And we would be remiss not to mention the most famous Parisian cabaret and the birthplace of the Cancan, the Moulin Rouge. Question. What is a famous, tall, Parisian landmark depicted on many souvenirs which offers wonderful views of the city? Well, the Arc de Triomphe, of course. It was commissioned in 1806 by Emperor Napoleon and honors the fallen of the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. The tomb of the unknown soldier from the First World War is also situated here. On its rooftop, at about 164 feet high, there's a viewing terrace, offering amazing views of the city, mainly the famous shopping avenue Champs-Élysées. But another famous landmark stands out, and we won't tease you anymore, we're of course talking about the Eiffel Tower. One of the most famous structures in the world, it became an undeniable icon of Paris. You might want to visit the tower itself, or just snap some beautiful pictures of the Iron Lady herself. For the latter, we recommend subscribing because a video focused on the best views of the Eiffel Tower is coming your way in the next few months. So our number four is just taking in the view, whether that is the view of the Eiffel Tower or not. Paris is full of amazing views and photo opportunities. And once you're done with the views, it's time to explore beyond the bounds of the city. Number 5. Enjoy a day trip and taste real champagne. When you book your trip to France with J-Way Travel, we'll make sure to put you on the best day tour to the capital of bubbly wine. A knowledgeable guide will pick you up in your accommodation and drive you to the Champagne wine region, where you'll explore wine cellars and learn about all things champagne. Discover the production process of champagne and find out about the second fermentation, which gives the wine its characteristic bubbles. And, of course, get ready to taste some of the most exquisite glasses of bubbly you will ever have, accompanied by delicious food. Sounds good? 
Perfect. Visit jwaytravel.com and contact our local experts who can't wait to help you start planning your dream vacation tailored specifically to your needs and interests. But for now, let's move on to number six. Admire Paris's unique architecture. Since Paris played a key role in the region as early as the 12th century, it is now home to examples of architecture from almost every period. Notable examples of the architecture of the Middle Ages can be found on the Ile de la Cité and include the Saint-Chapelle and Palais de la Cité. Paris is also considered to be the birthplace of the Gothic style, with the impressive Notre Dame Cathedral being one of the most famous examples. In general, for examples of historic and pre-18th century architecture, you should head over to Le Marais, a former aristocratic district. Abandoned by the nobility after the French Revolution, the district has reclaimed its charm in recent years and has become a fashionable area once again. But fast forwarding a little bit, the look and layout of Paris has changed the most under the direction of Napoleon III and, more importantly, Baron Haussmann. Because if you imagine Paris, you're probably thinking of large, open boulevards lined by tall residential buildings with a unified look. That is the legacy of Haussmann's vision and the largest city renovation project ever undertaken in Europe. As the prefect himself wrote in his memoir, it was the gutting of old Paris, a sentiment for which he's been both praised and criticized, but nonetheless changed the face of the city forever. But obviously, Paris is also full of examples of later architecture like the Belle Epoque or modern architecture. Since the 70s, French presidents would commission major projects to serve as their legacy. That's how we get the Centre Pompidou, the Louvre Pyramids, the French National Library or the impressive Grand Arch in the La Défense neighborhood. This business district is littered with modern buildings and skyscrapers and certainly worth your time for an afternoon stroll. Before leaving the topic of architecture behind, let's visit an architectural gem that transports you to a different world. The beautiful Grand Mosque of Paris. The third largest mosque in Europe boasts beautiful Islamic architecture and serene gardens and is definitely worth your time while in Paris. One last quick tip before we leave you. Paris has a great system of public water fountains that allow you to keep hydrated for free. Not only are they beautiful, but they also inform you about the exact state of the fountain via a QR code. So take advantage of them. Before we bid you au revoir, here's our final tip. Just enjoy the city. I know, I know, that's pretty generic, but Paris is a vibrant city where something happens every day. It is a city rich in culture and history and has so much to offer that everyone can find something to love. But be careful. Paris is, after all, just a city. Be aware that American media has romanticized Paris to be a beautiful backdrop rather than a busy, pulsating metropolis. Don't confuse Hollywood sound stages with the real Paris and try to keep your mind open to the city of light. If you get it right, you're bound to fall in love with Paris. And to help you get it right, we've got you covered. Figuring out where to stay, what to see, where to eat and what activities to choose from can be overwhelming. Luckily, at J-Way Travel, we have a team of qualified experts ready to help you plan the vacation of a lifetime, customized to your specific needs and interests. And not just that, when you land on the ground in France, you will have a local representative available to you. To help when needed and to make sure you feel safe, our guests describe their J-Way experience as seamless and hassle-free, which sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Start planning your dream Parisian getaway today by clicking the link below or going to jwaytravel.com. And that's all from us today. 
Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to see more, and I will see you next time. It's a train on a car.